Time for a recipe from the Feel Good Foodie. Yumna Jawad is here to show us hummus pasta. And I love it because it's really incorporating a lot of healthy foods into it. Yep, absolutely. So I'm actually Lebanese and we always joke around that we throw hummus on everything. <laughs> and so one day it's I'm like, like your version of ketchup. It is totally. And so one day I'm like, well, why not try it with pasta? And so what the cool thing is when you do throw it with pasta, it kind of makes this Alfredo sauce mm. and the hummus already has the garlic in it. It's already flavored with the lemon juice. So it makes for a wonderful pasta sauce. Right. And a quick and easy yeah. staple to have, right? Totally. Yeah. So what I like to do is in this pan, I have some onions, garlic, and some spinach and you can do whatever base you want and then I'll just take store-bought hummus or if I have F leftover hummus in my house I'll just take like about a half a cup for every eight ounces throw that in there along with some pasta water so the pasta water is going to emulsify it and make that hummus stick to everything. I've heard a lot about reserving your pasta water. Like so many people just dump it down the drain. Yes. Tea. I do that every single time. Yep. Um, what is it that you love about reserving the pasta water and continuing to use that in your dish? Yep, definitely. So when we make, uh, when you boil pasta, you're basically using um, the pasta and salt and water. And so it becomes this like starchy, flavorful water that a lot of people want to toss. But the cool thing about it is um, because it's so starchy, it helps the sauces stick together. Ah. So if you're using a marinara, if you're using a pesto or any anything like that. It helps them actually emulsify and stick together. Oh, gotcha. So, um, and, in, and in here, because we're just using a little bit of hummus, all we want is just about a cup of the pasta water. Okay. So and you then, see I'm mixing it all together yeah. and it's slowly becoming the sauce. And we just want to make sure it's all very well incorporated and then we'll throw the pasta in there. Great. And so you also like to add a little things like lemon really does burst that flavor yes. through. Yes. And especially this time of the year, I like to finish off something that's been cooking for a long time, onions and garlic, mm -hmm. and just throw a burst of lemon, lemon juice in there. And it really just brightens up everything and makes it more flavorful. So um, you'll see now we've got this really beautiful sauce here. It's a little bit more yellow than an Alfredo. Mm -hmm. but once and I'm you, really kind of surprised yeah. how the hummus cooked down yes, in there. I mean, exactly. it looks like an Alfredo sauce yes, for sure. Yep, exactly. And this is a really cool vegan recipe because um, there's no need for cream in there. There's no need for milk or any cream cheese or anything like that. You're just using the hummus and the hummus has a lot of protein in it from the chickpeas and also um, you have some good fats from the tahini that's used in there. So Definitely yeah, it's not something I would have thought of. Yeah, all around just a very beautiful, flavorful recipe. So I'm going to throw in some spaghetti that I cooked. We'll throw that in here and you and can so play you around like, with the you ingredients. You like to throw it in and like get it all yes. over the pasta yep, as opposed to some people liking to dump it on top. Yes, exactly. So you can just kind of mix everything together. So I cook the spaghetti al dente mm -hmm. and then just mix everything together until um, the sauce sticks to the um, spaghetti. Mm, that really does look yes. like a wonderful <laughs> comfort dish. And for it's sure. so simple, but so flavorful at the same time. When we're done, you just finish it off with some fresh lemon juice. And then um, you'll see here is the final dish. We've got some Parmesan cheese on it, some basil, and some um, fresh lemons. Yeah, and well, you can't go wrong without a little <laughs> yes. parm on top, right? Exactly. And this is something that you love to do at home. You've got a wonderful foodie blog that you, yeah, you know, lots of followers. You need to follow you, Mom. Right? Yes. Tell yep. us a little bit about the blog. Yeah, definitely. So I started my um, Instagram page about six years ago, and I was just sharing healthy recipes that I cook for my family. And so before I knew it, it exploded. Like people really wanted those healthy, simple recipes. They weren't complicated. They were just you know healthy and delicious. And um, so I ended up garnering about two million followers followers on Instagram. Which is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. And then from there, like three years later, I said, you know what, this is not a hobby. This is this is for real. And so I started a blog and now it's my full time job. Mm, yeah, and we love having you share some of those recipes Thank that you you're so sharing much. with your yeah. two million Instagram <laughs> followers. Yeah. Of course, you can find a copy of this recipe and more on Feel Good Foodie on our website, 13 on your